science behind fasting. We have reached an era where you know our generation does not believe in anything unless it's uh, backed up by scientific data. So I'm briefly going to share with you a little bit information on science behind fasting and what exactly happens in the body. So basically when we eat food, um, there's carbs pretty much in every meal that we eat and some meals are definitely majority of our meals are very carb, carb heavy and uh, when we eat something with carbs, it gets converted into glucose and the glucose levels in our bloodstream increases and when that happens, then the pancreas uh, produces insulin and the insul insulin levels uh, shoot up and that gives a signal to our body that food is coming and um, so the body gets ready for digestion and it processes the food that we get and it converts it for uh, using it in future for energy and you know uh, all our day-to-day uh, -day functioning um, every single cell needs that energy from food now this signal is sent to the body that food is coming and the body prepares for it and it starts to convert it into either sugar and say I have eaten a lot more than what I needed today and so that excess is converted into sugar and it's stored in the body and um, if I've eaten more than that there's still excess then the body stores it as fat and later on when there is no food that is when the body will actually be able to use it and that's exactly what happens so when we are fasting the opposite of this happens that um, there's no food so the pancreas will not produce insulin and the body gets a signal that there's no food coming in and it's like a fight or fight situation and the body thinks oh my god the body goes into the stress mode and it feels okay there's no food coming but i still need energy to carry on my functions so that's when the body will now reach out to its reserves which i mentioned that when there's excess of it the body stores it so now the body uses that reserve and if there's we continue to fast and there's still uh, no food coming in then the body reaches out to the fat reserves as well and it starts to burn those fats Basically, body can either at a time burn energy or store energy. So if we continuously keep eating, then the body will keep storing and more and more fat gets accumulated in the body. And when we don't eat, the body starts using and more and more of accumulated fat is used during fasting. So fasting is actually like a good night's sleep. You know, you're working all day and the body, every single cell is working very busy uh, just doing the day-to-day -day functions but when we go to sleep then our mind and body is resting and that is when the body can heal itself so same happens uh, in fasting as well that usually every day we are eating every few hours and each meal takes hours you know it can take from 3 to even 48 hours depending on what you ate for the body to digest it so if you think about it if you have a meal at 10 in the morning and the body was still digesting it for the four, five, next 4 to 5 hours you already ate your next meal so body is just continuously uh, digesting food what happens is when we are fasting then we actually give it a break and the digestive system gets time to rest and that is when your gut can heal itself the gut bacteria the immune system they all uh, look at other aspects that okay now i don't have to be busy in digesting food i have spare time so they look at uh, building your immunity and that's how uh, the body heals itself during fasting as i mentioned that during fasting our insulin levels drop down because there's no food coming in and um, every hormone in our body has a counter hormone as well so if one drops down its counter hormone will increase for insulin the counter hormone is noradrenaline and cortisol and growth hormones so basically when we are fasting our growth hormones become really active and uh, that is why they help every single cell in our body to repair itself and get better and heal itself. 